Okay, we are back for another round two knockout. Coming right on the heels of the round one battles, we have two winners from their respective battles. We have Blend 100 from Breakway Matcha up against the Uji Hikari Cultivar from Thesde Japon. No brewing in round two, of course, so let's just get right back into the tasting and see what, if we can push one of these guys right into round three. That sweet pea flavor that I really love coming off of the Uji Hikari. Fresh garden peas is one of my all-time favorite snacks, and this really reminds me of that flavor. Going back to the Blend 100 now. Hmm. After it's had time to sit a little bit, some of that more uh, twiggy, woodsy notes are coming out. And that Uji Hikari. This is, the Blend 100 is still an excellent, excellent, excellent matcha. But in my mind, it's not even close. In this case, the Uji Hikari. Gonna move on to round three. An excellent blend from Breakaway Matcha. Breakaway Matcha doesn't really sell a bad matcha. The closest I would say would be the, the Blend 94, which has maybe a bit more kick than I like. But everything else has just been completely excellent. But in this case, yeah, it's just the Suji Hikari. It's just exceptional. Okay, a little bit more on the Blend 100 from Breakaway Matcha then. For their 30 gram size, you'd be paying $109. This is one of the most expensive matchas in this challenge. There are four more ahead of it, all from Breakaway Matcha still. But that brings us up to a staggering $3.63 per gram. Do not know the season or cultivar. We do know that the origin is Nisho, near Nagoya. And then the description right off of the Breakaway Matcha website reads as follows. The first thing you notice is a creamy body and smooth mouthfeel that resembles a perfectly pulled espresso. The color is a hallucinogenic bright green. It has sweet aromas redolent of fresh young grass, young bamboo, raw sugar, and chlorophyll. It has the ethereal vegetal notes of just picked asparagus and sweet peas on the vine, balanced by earthier umami laden undertones of perfectly grilled mushrooms. Mid palette shows essence of fresh, a real floral lift and layers of meaty richness. The catechin rich, subtle, astringent treble notes on the finish bear remarkable similarity to those of a great burgundy. The finish is long. It keeps delivering these sweet flavors long after it's swallowed. It turns all previous expectations and experiences with matcha on its head. It earns a perfect 100 score. Elevated growing region, very pristine environment, incredible terroir. One of the rarest and most delightful Epicurean experiences in the world. I really love some of the descriptions on the Breakaway Matcha website, especially for their higher-end matchas. It's very evocative. And again, this is just a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful matcha. But if I'm looking for the best matcha for me, it was it was no contest. The Uji Hikari, clear winner in this battle, which means that our bracket now looks a little something like this. And uh, as I finish off my Uji Hikari, we will see you for the next battle. Cheers.